Hey, what's up, everybody? I was at Walmart today, and you, you always seen these Orbeez. When you get them, they're like, I don't know how many millimeters, probably like two or three millimeters across, maybe a, a quarter inch or something. And they're really small, and you, you when you put put them in water, they absorb the water. Well, I did a couple of videos on that with, uh, with air fresheners, and I think all they do is they soak Orbeez and some kind of you know, scent and it absorbs them and they put them in air fresheners and they dry out and they shrink down. Well, today I seen these. These are water beads. They're the same, basically the same thing without the water. It expands up to six times in diameter. This is 14 ounces, just add water. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I buy freaking 14 ounces of these? Well, 396 grams. Um, Small parts, not for choking, not for children under three years of age. Well, I can't play with them. Um, well, anyways, I'm gonna open this up, and I have a big container that I made a, a beer video out of it. They think about this big around, and, and it holds 36 beers. I think it does. Uh, one of my beers videos I did. Uh, so I'm gonna dump them in there, and I'm gonna add water, and I'm gonna time lapse it, and watch how much this 14 ounces fills up that dang thing. So I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So let's go. All right, here we are. I got my container and I got my beads. Let's fill this sucker up and put some water in it. I ain't gonna use my good water. I'm gonna use bad water, faucet water. I'm gonna take this little, I wonder if they're gonna have a, uh, a seal on the inside. They have a little seal on the outside, you know? I wonder if it's gonna be like safety sealed. No, it's not. Some kids could have just opened this in a store and eat them all. Anyways, let's pour them in. Wow, them suckers are bouncing. All right, I'm gonna fill it up with water, and this is gonna take some time, so I'll, I'll get back right with you. Electric So like, holy crap, I didn't think it was going to get this big, this full, with just little 14 ounces of freaking them balls. So, I have a plan. I have a five gallon bucket. I'm going to take out some of these. I'm going to take about half of them. You know, I wonder if this has the same amount of volume. Anyways, I'm going to take out half of these, put them in here, and then fill this up with water. All right, so now I got <clears throat> halfway down, a little bit over half, eh, about half. But it only took about two hours to do this, an hour and a half to for them to absorb that much water. And you know what? I should probably take out a little bit more out and get it down to about here, because I think these things are really going to expand even more. So let's keep going. <clears throat> yeah, they're like it's like really colorful. I'm gonna get a couple more out of here. This bucket has probably more. It looks like this bucket. This bucket is up to here, full of these dang things. And I'm I'm afraid <clears throat> if I fill this up with water again, it's still gonna absorb all of it. All right. Do I want to keep going? Yes. This is just, I didn't think I was, these things would expand that much, but they are. So there we are. Now let's fill this up with water. All right, so here we are. Got the last bucket in there. Let's let it set. So we got it all set. Let's just time lapse it and see where we go. Rusted wind chimes and the feverish glow of fire. 
Well, here we are. They've been sitting all night, and uh, the the camera turned off and wasn't recording them expanding. But I'm going to take these and drain them out again. I'm going to go down halfway, and I'm going to fill it up with water again. See how far they go. Well, everybody, what I did, I went outside and got my rain-collecting garbage can that I water the plants with. I'm not using it in the wintertime, so I cleaned it out, and I put all of the, the, what the hell you want to call, all of the beads in here, so, and then I filled it up with water. So now, I'm going to let it go for all night and maybe all day tomorrow, then I'll come home from work and I'll see what we got. So right now, it's up to about... It's if they're up to about here, they expanded that much. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. I even got a, a floating one right over here. So we'll see what we get tomorrow. Alright, so here we are. I've left them in here all week long, and this is as big as they're gonna get. So now I'm gonna take them out of here and put them in some bu two gallon buckets and see how many we have. Alright, so this is what I got. Out of these little buggers, this filled up all these buckets. So it's eight gallons. These are two gallons a piece. That's eight gallons out of these suckers. And now, what am I going to do? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these and I'm going to dehydrate them, let them dry out, and see if I can get them all back into this. So that's going to take some time. I've been doing some thinking. Where am I going to put them? How am I going to put them? what I just have I just figured just leave them out and just let them dry and see how long it takes them to dry to put back into this so I'll see you in quite some time all right everybody here we are finally we're gonna see if these will fit now let me, let me show you what I got that's what they look like now and I just broken them up with a fork as they dried out they got so sticky and you want to keep rotating them and stuff and I, I, I ended up doing it multiple ways I made a box with a hole in the top and over the buckets and I put them over the heat register and had it run every time the the furnace would kick on it would dry them out then I was like let's put one of the buckets in the shed because it started getting warmer and, and then I was like that wasn't working so I, I put them all it slowly went down as it was under the heat register in the box but then I ended up putting them all in one bowl and putting them in the oven and the pilot light that runs constantly would dry them out so as they were drying out I kept had to stir them up and they were sticking to everything you know so and then as they dried out they stuck together in like little clumps like I got one here you know real little clumps and you gotta break them apart see they crunch so now it's been four months and these are the ones I, I did originally I put it up like a baking pan and I put it in the oven and just let it let it go and that worked out pretty quick uh, yeah four months and six days later is when they're finally finished. Now let's see if they'll all fit in here. I know I, I, I might have dropped like four or five of them when I was crunching them up. I see them, you know, go across the counter and underneath something. Uh, so let's let's see if they fit all fit in here. All right, so here we go. I got this little glass. I was gonna put them in that, but I was like, no, nah, let me just put them right in here and scoop them out and put them in here and just be careful putting them in there. They're as big as the ones that were in there, so I don't think you can dehydrate these things anymore. I hope they all fit, because I'll be pissed if they don't. I'm done. My wife is mad taking these out of, the, out of the oven every time she wanted to cook something. She had to take them out of the oven. It's like, my God, when's he going to get done with these stupid things? Anyways, we're almost there. Just keep on going. Let me get a little bit closer to you, huh? Yeah. Come on. There we go. It, it's going to be close. It looks like it's... Oh, there we go. There you go, you goof. Not paying attention. Not paying attention. 
And I clean it up. Jeez. Too bad they wouldn't be magnetic so I could just scoop them up with a magnet. Or pick them up with a magnet. You'll scoop them up with a magnet. All right, all right. Here we are. Come on. I got them all. There. Okay. Continue. But be careful. I said be careful. You keep. I'm, I'm overloading the... Yeah, that one went off the table. I'm overloading the spoon. I should take my time. Holy crap, that's going to be close. So I should shake it a little bit to get the ones that are loose. There we go. That's the way you do it. Got it to a science now. What is that? That's nothing. I don't know what that is. Oh crap. They better fit. Hold on. That's everything. Uh-oh. 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 Holy crap. Yeah, like six more in there. Hold on, hold on. Let me shake it down. Well, I'll be damned. Oh, oh my God. Two is trying to go away. There you go. Look at that. Now, if the lid will fit, that'll be a finally completed. I don't think the lid's going to fit. Yeah, it is. There we go. Back. Good as new. Now I can take them back to Walmart and return them. No, I'm not going to do that. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Anyways. There you go, it took four freaking months, and wait, uh, four months and six days. So, there you go, you can dehydrate these things, and it took that damn long. So there you go, mission accomplished, and I don't know if that means anything, but uh, thanks for watching.